but it needs to go through for that to happen. Born from 47. Yeah. Enjoying the moment. They've been on the road for a little while and for his sixth goal. Football Club. He enjoyed it as much as every one of you. Please welcome Gary Lyon. By Jesus, we love Perth. Welcome everyone to what is a day we've been waiting for. 50 the fact that it's here in the capital city of Western Australia has its own unique circumstances, but the people of Perth have been absolutely superb. And we've got a whole Melbourne Footy Club team behind you who want to show their appreciation for their support. And with the 2021 Premiership Cup, I want you to welcome the CEO, Gary Pert, and our President, Kate Roffey. Here it is, the 2021 Premiership Cup. Further ado, I think we need to get through to 23 heroes of the Melbourne Footy Club. They're the talk of the country right now. The coverage of this game's been extraordinary. 19 points down three, halfway through the third quarter. I shit myself, but I tell you what, <laughs> did they rally? And let's get them up here on the stage and acknowledge them, and we'll go in reverse number order. This time last year, he was at the North Melbourne Football Club. He's come over here, he's worked his way in. Number 50, Ben Brown. This young man's going to be around for a long, long time. Uh, royalty here in Western Australia, the name of Pickett. And are we happy he's in the Melbourne Footy Club jumper? Number 36, Keziah Pickett. I, think I've seen a, I don't think I've seen a cooler footballer in a jumper than... Uh, I talked to the Melbourne coaches last night, they said the ceiling for this, this fellow is extraordinary. Someone likened him to a young Tim Watson, number 32, Tommy Sparrow. Fantastic job. This young man has kicked six in an AFL grand final. And as the number 31 ever looked better on anyone's back since the great Ronald Dale Barassi, please welcome Bailey Fritch. Yeah. Off and walked his way back into this side, now he's a Premiership player, number 25, Tommy McDonald. Yeah. No wonder we've got such a great loyal following here. Melbourne and this kid. Seriously, he's settled into that back line. He looks like he's been there for 200 games. And he ain't coming back until he's finished, I'm telling you that. He's got a lot of good footy still to be played. Number 24, Trent Rivers. Yeah. See you next. Played his first AFL game seven weeks ago and has not played in a losing side. And seven games into his career, he's a premiership player. And how cool and calm was he, Jake Bowie? Welcome. Absolutely sensational. He's been on a wing all year and he hasn't been beaten. Number 15, Ed Langdon. Yeah. You talk about it, as I said, in the structure, but you look at quality people as well. And you only want quality people to come in your organisation. And this bloke's loved within the footy club. He was sensational on the weekend. Number 14, Michael Hibbert. in the competition he does it week in and week out and some of the stuff he did yesterday when the bond looked like he was going to get away from us he sacrificed some of his own game he's in the top three in the norm smith medal 
He's as good a midfielder as I've seen at this footy club ever, and his name's Clayton Oliver. Australia's well known for lots of reasons, mainly from a cricket point of view. This bloke was running up in a Brownlow middle playing in the middle of the ground, in the middle. He had every right to think that he was a starting midfielder and circumstances have meant that he's had to go out to the wing. And this footy club talks about selflessness and putting team before themselves and this bloke is the epitome of that. I thought he was just superb yesterday. Courageous, ball winner, clean. He's a premiership player. He loved every second of it. His name's Angus Brayshaw. He could be in the running for the dustiest I've seen him being beaten all year. He's, um, he's only 25 years of age, he looks about 38. He's going to be around for a long time. Please welcome Jake Lever. Yeah. Footy club. So obviously I've watched him with great interest. He knows only one way and he sets a standard. He came into the club when they needed someone to refuse to concede and refuse to bow and refuse to lower his standards. His care for this football club started just when the moment he could walk and he wears it on his, on his chest every single time he goes out to play and there was a moment yesterday where the game was in the balance, could go one way or the other. His attack on the footy was just what we've come to expect. He never compromises. He's a star. He's number seven and he's Jack Vining. <laughs> Coming back, I'm telling you right now, uh, we've got the best ruckman in the competition, but we've got the best one-two combination. And when things are a little bit dicey, he went into the middle of the ground and he helped turn the game. He helped turn a grand final. He's 19 years of age. He's got the world at his feet. He's a star and his name's Luke Jackson. We've all sat back and lauded the great Dusty Martin and what he's done. And our man has been coming and chasing hard and we know Dusty's had injuries this year so someone's had to step into the void and they kept getting told, yeah, but this bloke, he's got to do it on the biggest stage of all and we all sat back and said, yeah, well, you wait, you give him the opportunity. And if there's been a better performance in a grand final than the one I watched last uh, night, then I haven't seen it. 39 touches, the number five, the Norm Smith medalist, Christian Petrarca. Morning and uh, relax and get our pipe out and smoke and so I'm pretty happy that we've got number three playing for us, Christian Salem. <laughs> Half a hamstring yesterday and he got the job done. Stephen May. Close <laughs> got everyone. So we know the history of Melbourne and we know some of the tortured past. The man that's been at the forefront of this was our great Jim Steins. Hold the Maxi chat for a minute. And, Mac, and Jim Steins saw in this bloke something really special to the point that he, he manufactured it so he got Jimmy's number 37 and was able to hand it on to him. Max told me this story last week, which I wasn't aware of. And then on the 11 became available and it was only fitting and right that, that Max Gorn took the number 11. And Jim Steins' influence on this footy club over a long period of time is a story that's been well told and it's every bit of it is absolutely true and when Jimmy, Jimmy left us I didn't know whether we'd get another influential leader like him but over the last couple of years I've seen someone emerge and the irony of the fact that he wears number 11 hasn't been lost on anyone. I see so much in, of Jim in this man, the way he leads, the way he's selfless, the way he's accepting and embracing and he goes down now in the history of this football club as an out and out legend. Your captain, number 11, Maxi Gorm. this whole ship and pulling it together and there might be more outspoken and more flamboyant um, maybe people that are a bit more demonstrative but the absolute right man at the right time has arrived at this footy club he's understated he's full of class he's got these blokes sitting out of the palm of his hand 
He's done it the hard way and now he's a legend of the Melbourne Footy Club for the rest of the days. Your coach, Simon Goodwin. Perth, these people have been magnificent. And your faith in this group behind you and the boys that are behind this has been unshakable. I just, I just look out here and I think uh, this has really dawned on me now that we've done something incredibly special for our people. It's been 57 years, we're bringing the cup home. And, uh, you know, we've got a special bunch of players here, but we've also got a special bunch of staff over here. Um, the amount of work that goes into building a strong footy club, it takes a lot of people, a lot of united people, and uh, we're very lucky at the moment. That's what we've got as a footy club, and it's, it's very special to be around. Max, tell me about last night, please. Um, as I said, I was just privileged to watch you boys in the middle of the ground, and then you went off into the night. Was it as good as you hoped that it'd be? Uh, it got big on me. Uh, <laughs> armsy has been unbelievable. Uh, no, it was, it was incredibly special. Um, we speak a lot about our Victorian supporters and what we've left behind, but this is crazy. This is a real big turnout for the for the yeah. Perth Faithful. So. You made. You made our month in Perth incredibly special. Um, the prelim was a sea of red and blue, and yesterday was good as well. All these cameras will be shooting stuff that's going back home. We love all you people, but there's, a, there's a, a thousands of members and supporters who are sitting at home and give their right arm to be where these people are right now. Good evening. The message for them? I oh, just I hope they're sitting at home so proud of their team. I know I've spoken to some close friends. They're crying. Um, they're so proud of everyone that's involved, but... As I said, we're bringing the cup home, we're going to celebrate with them and we're going to do it again for them. So Maxi, today, um, the, one that I would imagine, I wouldn't know, but the best part of winning the Premiership is sitting down with your mates the day after when the dust settles a bit and, and talking through and some of the moments. What, what's, your, what's your overarching memory? Well, we're pretty proud to have you doing Maxi again. I think I've stuffed the running order up. We're going to have a fun opportunity with this cup in a moment, but uh, we need to talk to a man that, as I said earlier, ripped out a game in a grand final that I haven't seen before. He's uh, taken the world before him. He signed a seven-year contract worth about 12 million bucks. He's going to get another five. Your North Smith medalist, Christian Petraga. Yes. Yeah. Radio. This is the moment we've been waiting for. I'm going to get this right and stage manage it. Uh, Simon Goodwin and Maxi Gorn are going to grab a hold of this cup. They're going to hold it up. The boys are going to circle up behind you. We're going to belt out the grand old flag like it's never been belted out before. The photo opportunity is going to be here. Close in, boys. Close in here. In 2021, AFL Premiers. The Melbourne Footy Club. All right, let's get this song going, boys. It's a brand new flag. It's a high flying flag. It's the anthem of the afternoons. It's the anthem of the big gray dust. It's the anthem of the red and the blue.
It's a grand old flag, it's a high-flying flag, it's the emblem for me and for you.